Today Ukraine elite sniper brutal destroy Russian mercenary tank one by one as flee backnet, the single company of unique BMPT Terminator fighting vehicles that the Russian army deployed to eastern Ukraine last spring, was for many months pretty lucky that luck ran out in recent days. The Ukrainians on or around Thursday bagged their first BPD in the woods near Kremina, 10 miles north of Lysyhansk in eastern Ukraine Donbass region. Ukrainian artillery scored a direct hit on the BMPT, sitting idle on a forest road. It's unclear whether the BMPT was operational at the time. It's possible it got damaged or broke down before the Ukrainian gunners dialed in. In any event, the Russian army just rode off a tenth of its Terminators, and it's about to get a lot worse for the surviving BNPD crews. Ukraine's Challenger 2 tanks are on their way, arms maker yourself. The gods of VOD manufactured only 10 or so BMPDS for the Russian army. The five-person Terminator is a unique kind of vehicle. It's not a tank with a large caliber main gun. It's not an infantry fighting vehicle with the compartment for a squad of soldiers. No, the BMPT is something in between, a tank support vehicle. The 48-ton BMPT boasts a target, with 130mm cannons in the quad launcher for Indy tank missiles, its armor protection, a mix of steel composite and reactive armor, is equivalent to that of the TAG. No, in Russian doctrine, the Terminator escorts tanks to protect them from infantry. The need is obvious. Ukrainian infantry packing portable anti-tank missiles have destroyed thousands of Russian vehicles. Last spring, most or all of the BMDS rolled into eastern Ukraine and joined the Russian Army's 90th Tank Division. Your Kremina. The Terminator's been in the thick of the fighting along what is one of the most dangerous fronts of Russia's 11-month-old wider war on Ukraine the BMPS came under fire more than once and some spent some time in repair depot. There's no repairing the BMPD that ate an artillery shell this week. The fireball resulting from the hit indicates its ammunition cooked off. Losing even one of the BMPTS is pretty embarrassing to the Russians. The vehicles are media darlings and proof that under the right conditions, Russian industry still can produce cutting-edge armor. In fact, the Russian army has concentrated most of its best armor along the Cremona sector, not just its BMTS but also its few new T-90 tanks. The Ukrainian army is acutely aware of this, it has deployed two of its most capable brigades, the 25th and 80th Airmobile Brigades, to the same sector, and now is training those brigades to use the first 14 new Challenger 2 tanks that the United Kingdom has pledged to Ukraine. Unless one of the armies redeploys its brigades in coming weeks, the Challenger 2 soon could meet the Team 90s. And beyond PTS around Kremina, but now there's one fewer BNPPD for the Ukrainian tankers to worry about. Ukraine and many Western analysts believe Russia is on the precipice of launching a new large-scale offensive, but it's likely to encounter a familiar obstacle mud. Frozen ground conditions in Ukraine are expected to give way to a floor in the coming weeks, turning the war-torn nation's fields and rural roads into a quagmire for troops and tanks. Ukraine's muddy season is so infamous that it has a name, Raspatitsa, referring to the season that comes in late fall and early spring. And it has carried out various armies over the centuries, from Napoleon Bonaparte's invasion of Russia in 1812, which was famously slowed by the mud in Ukraine, to Hitler's Nazi forces floundering in muddy conditions as they invaded the then Soviet Union in 1940. 1. Despite its infamy and annual occurrence, the mud still managed to catch Russian forces out after they invaded Ukraine last February, with images and footage online showing Russian tanks and armored vehicles stuck and abandoned in the mud, much to Ukraine's satisfaction. Needless to say, however, its own forces are not immune to the problem. What while the war has changed since the last muddy spring season, with Russia now concentrating its forces on an expected large-scale offensive focused on fully occupying eastern Ukraine and potentially including Zaporizhia in the south in the northeastern Barkov region. And the arrival of spring.